Hello, Jake, and thank you for your question. Your question is around how to structure the CRM in the best way. Basically, what will be the right way to bring in a new appointment and how to work around it. Even though your business is not an IT business, your sales cycle is relatively similar to an IT company. There will be in IT companies, there will be an appointment that is being booked with a salesperson and then there will be a sales process and then the company sells, basically it's a closed one, the company sells the, the solution and then the company needs to deliver it and the delivery takes time. So your, your process is very much similar to an IT company and even my company. So this is what I have for you. So whenever an appointment is being booked, let's say on Calendly or bookings, whatever software that you may have, whenever there is a booking, it will automatically create here a new deal or in my system, it calls opportunities because it's more of an opportunity than a deal. So someone will book here, will book the appointment. It will automatically will go into appointment booked. Now, while you are providing the price, closing the deal, whatever it is, then it will go here. So let's say it's a $5,000 deal. And now it will go into close one. The deals that will be in close one are not done because you still have the delivered to take into consideration. Now, you said that most of your deals will take around a year. So what I prefer to do is while the application process takes place and your product basically in work, I would create a drip campaign of about, let's say, 12 months that every month there will be an email to the student that is working with you to let them know that we are right now in the process, we are working on it, or maybe if you're not working on it, what right now is happening on the other side? We are waiting for the government to approve it, to review it, and you just give, you just give the, the student more data about what's going on. By that, you reduce the student sending you emails about questions about the process and also he sees value in your service and he will also refer you to more students that they will take your service whenever the process is done you will have probably another field somewhere here and the field will be a time of delivery or whatever data that you need to collect and then you will push the deal into delivery and this is when you know that the deal is done. And the last point is about the no-show. Whenever you have someone booking an appointment, if the person shows up, you will have a button show up. If the person is late, you will have a button name late. And then whenever you click on it, there will be an email being sent to this student advising him what is the Zoom link or whatever system that you're running the, the meeting on what is the link and if he wants you to wait for him and if he, there is a no-show there will be another button and clicking on the no-show will send an email for the student to rebook the appointment mm -hmm.